This was recorded in August of last year. I do apologise if anything old creeps up in the video. Hey guys, it's Charlie and this is Game Dev Tycoon, a game I kind of got addicted to when I was playing it a little while ago. I'm going to turn down the volume because this music is actually pretty cool but really annoying. Um, this is actually a pretty good game. If you've ever played a game like, uh, game, uh, in, what was it, uh, what was it called? I can't remember what it was called now. It was actually on the, um, it was on the iPhone or the Android. Uh, Game Dev Story, that's it. I can't believe I forgot that. I actually played that game for a little while, but I kind of, I kind of gave that up because it wasn't as good as Game Dev Tycoon because Game Dev Tycoon, you could kind of say it's kind of a rip-off. You know, in a way, but it's kind of not. It's <clears throat> it's kind of it's better in a way. But when I last played it, because I actually bought this for Windows 8 one time, it was a little unbalanced. Uh, apparently, they've improved it. Um, so we're going to start again. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own P, your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become a leader of the market. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. I'm actually going to set this to 42 years because, yeah, you know, the more you can play, the, the better. Uh, so, what shall my company name be? Well, my name's got to be, you know, my name, Charlie Murray, because, you know, why not? Should I be a girl? Nah. Uh, company name... Uh, nah. Nah. Can't think of a good, I can't think of a good name. Blue Planet Productions, yeah, that'll do, yeah. Uh, you can also change your appearance, even though all you'll ever be seeing is the back of your character's head. That's all you'll be seeing. So I guess, uh, should I go ginger? <laughs> nah, I don't like being ginger. I guess I'll just go for that one. And my shirt will be... I don't know what my shirt will be. Uh, I don't really like that. Uh, who wants to wear a sweater vest? Uh, I guess it'll be that. Let's just blend in. Yeah, why not? If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in their help menu. To access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, and creating a game, simply press escape to access the menu. Thank you very much. Congratulations, you've just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in the garage, and you are the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. I, I, I... Oh yeah, get an achievement. Yeah, Steam achievement, I assume. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll, yeah, achievement. Yeah. Um. Oh, do you also love that? Uh, that's that's a Back to the Future reference, DeLorean. You know, they say you went back in time. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to develop a new game. Before development can begin, you can decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Uh, so. Uh, I kind of, you know, dungeon, you know, you just sort of start off with something. We, we're kind of in the 1980s right now. Should we start with zombies? You know, no, nobody really, you know, zombies isn't really amazingly popular yet. Uh, what should it be? Simulation? Nah, I guess it'll be action. Uh, platform, you've got the PC and you've got the G64. Uh, currently the... Oh, wow, the development cost is... 20k on there. I guess we'll start with PC because that's where all the, that, you know, that's still nearly half the market. Um, we've only got 70k as you can see. So, what should we call it? Uh, die. <laughs> die. Die. Zombos. Ah, zombos. There, that'll do. Die, 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 zombos. <laughs> uh, we'll go 2D graphics or. 2D, yeah, 2D graphics. Let's 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 jump straight into it. <sighs> oh wow, one design and one technology. Wow. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus of your gear for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to, if you want a brief description of different areas, please refer to the help menu. I love how everything refers to the help menu. So we're gonna go gameplay. Engine, mm, not so much because it, it, this is the 1980s. You don't really need to have much story. Let's have a mm, uh, let's have a bit of story, shall we? 
Let's go all Call of Duty zombies on this. <laughs> game development has now started. While developing your game, you will generate points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better your game will be. From time to time, there will always be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bull crap. <laughs> I play. I've played this game right away, right the way to its end. When I was playing it on Windows 8, they would just the Windows 8 version, the one you buy from the Windows 8 store and everything. And uh, <laughs> the amount of bugs you get, oh my god! Uh, bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and costs. You literally end up with a couple thousand bugs in the end. Um, but that's fine. Our dialogues, not for a zombie game, we don't really need that. Lower design, artificial intelligence, yeah, maybe artificial intelligence, yeah. Sort of like that, in a way. I probably won't get very good reviews, though. Um, but we'll see. <sighs> I'm starting at the beginning. This feels very slow because I'm starting at the beginning. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You will also see the graphic type you selected when you defined the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the types of graphics mid-game. Uh, so 2D graphics v1. Uh, well design, uh, maybe yeah. Graphics still easy. The logic I'm going on, I don't know if this is good logic. This is kind of like the 1980s, you know. The graphics weren't fantastic, but you know, maybe back in those days, it, they were like, oh my god, amazing. Um, so yeah, let's go with that. All right, let's see how we do. The development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your rating, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and you can't afford to wait. Well, I can afford to wait, just about. There we are, bugs done. The development of your game has now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Like this. Oh wow, I can change its name right now if I wanted to. Well, I don't want to. And this is just the level level up thing. Yeah. And we shall release the game. Let's see what I get. Uh, create a game with a good topic genre combination. Oh, brilliant. Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. I'd so love if I got high scores, but I probably won't. Because because when I first played this, my, my, my first game was like three, four. I was getting threes and fours. But let's see. I'm getting five. That's 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 not bad. Yeah, five. That's that's probably better than I did last time. I'm glad I'm getting a five. Uh, four. Screw you, game hero. Five have seen better. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points, as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't when developing a game. Wait, and that didn't happen last time. To generate a game report, close this message, oh yes it did, and click anywhere on the screen to bring, yeah, of course. And then you have game history. Wait, 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 generate game report. Oh, select. Blue Planet Planet Productions, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Die 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 Zombos. The game has a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what Blue Planet Productions will deliver in the future. So I'm doing a game report. That that did not happen in the previous game. And the previous time I bought this, but oh well. First week of sales, Die 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 Zombos sold 2,113 units in its first week on the market and has generated 14.8k. Brilliant. Now that your game is on sale, you receive the income from get a game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Oh my god. Die 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 Zombos were so successful that we have now we now have 10 fans! Oh my god, only 10? Okay. Yeah, game reports didn't happen last time when I played this, but I'm intrigued to see what it will, what it will bring. Our post-release analysis of Die 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 Zombos is complete. And we've got the following results. Zombies and action is a great combination. Engine seems to be very important for this type of game. Ah, so you are giving me a proper... Yeah, because last time when you had reviews, it didn't give us good insight into what to do to improve our scores 
for next games, but never mind. Game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you... Oh. You, you, you probably should fix that, developers. You said relays. Um, it's release. Yeah, somebody kind of did that pretty quickly. Now that you've completed your game first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message and bring... And then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Yeah. Bug report. Bug report. <laughs> um, uh, what am I doing? Uh, research. Research is important to unlock new options and make you make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Hint. Try to develop games with a different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Uh, I don't want to do that just yet. And then you got my game history and then... It doesn't say, it doesn't tell me anything about it. Okay. F thanks. Um, let's develop a new game! Ah, uh, so. Let's go with life and simulation. Uh, PC, yeah, let's call it The Pims. Totally not a reference of anything. Uh, gameplay is usually the best thing. Engine, yeah. Yeah, let's kind of focus on engine a little bit. <sighs> oh no! The Sims is being released too early down its time stream. Oh no! Dialogues, probably, yes. If we're talking about the Sims here. Artificial intelligence, yes. Lower design, mm, yeah, probably, actually. Even though I know the Sims did always just sort of go, Wabby, do blah, blah, blah. Cabo, da, da, do, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I got 30 fans now, brilliant. World design, no, we don't need that. Graphics, sound, maybe, yeah. I probably, I don't, I, I don't really know what. For, to begin with, you're usually just going, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. That's usually what you're doing to begin with. But let's see how we do. Fix the bugs, Charlie. Die, 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 Zombos is now off the market. It sold 7,140 units, generating 50,000. 50,008 in sales. It's not bad. As long as it pays the bills. Oh, nope. Didn't want to do that. The Pims is ready. <laughs> the drink is ready. Pims is a drink. Just, yeah. Oh, no, I don't. I hope we don't get done for product placement there. <laughs> Pretending it's not product placement. I'm just mentioning something. So it's not really product placement. Uh, the first reviews of our newly released game, The Pims, came in. Our, our newly released game. There's only like one member in Blue Star Productions. Blue Planet. Uh, what are we doing here? Well, five have seen better. I bet you have. Don't you dare give me a two! Uninspiring. Damn you. Five. Meh. Uh, I'm trying. I'm getting there. I might as well do a post game report. Why not? How will we do? Five fans. It's always good when you gain fans. Our post-release analysis of the PIMS is complete, and we got the following results: life, life, and simulation is a great combination. Gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game. Dialogue seem to be not seem to be not important for this type of game. Platform genre match simulation PC. Great. I bet it is because who the hell wants to play Farm Simulator on the Xbox 360? Developers of that game, are you watching me? Nobody wants to play that game on the Xbox 360 or the PS3. Uh, let's do a bit of research, shall we? Um, uh, what should we do? Alter alternate history. Oh, a lot of games do that. Uh, hospital. Yeah, let's do hospital. Why not? Don't know why. Just why not? 49 fans. We're, we're doing all right. I'm doing all right. It annoys me that I have to pay 8,000 rent every month. I mean, who the hell who, who the hell has to pay $8,000 or pounds, whatever it is, just just for rent? You know, it's... Ugh. Every month. Recent market studies show that the Go Divorce G64 is steadily outsetting, outselling competitors in the PC sectors. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over the home com other home computers. Experts say that this might spell the end for competing hardware manufacturers. Haha, <laughs> I don't think so. Because this game essentially does tell the, does tell the history of what happened um, from like the 80s onwards. Um, hence why they say, you've gone back in time. 
Gotta go back in time. Oh, copyright. Um, yeah, let's go for another simulation. Uh, hospital crash. Yeah. Um, adventure. Oh, genre match. Okay, so you're telling me that that's okay. Simulation is great on PC. Uh, hospital crash. Uh, 2D graphics version one. While generating game reports, you start to gain insights into the development process and learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. These insights are shown as hints on the development screen, unless you have turned this option off in the settings, which I won't. The hints range from plus 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 to minus minus, and indicate how important an area is for this type of game. When hints have a question mark at the end, plus 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 question mark, it means that you have insights from a game in the same genre, but that you are not yet sure whether this holds true for this particular genre slash topic combination um, so gameplay usually mostly important um, engine yeah, story quest not so much apparently that's what that's what, that's what I remember uh, dialogues less important apparently so uh, level design yeah why not might as well just get rid of dialogue altogether the Pims is now off the market it sold 6732 units generating 47,000 in sales uh, when we get above a hundred thousand, then we'll be then it'll be a lot better. You know, I'll, I won't panic as much. Oh no, he's having a bit of a burn phase. He's kind of struggling. Uh, I don't know why I said burn phase, but oh well. A world design, kind of. Graphics, uh, sound. It's a simulation, isn't it? You want to have the proper sounds. Uh, world design, graphics. Let's have graphics a little bit low. There we are. Let's see, let's see what that does. Probably won't do very much. Now if you want, you can leave it a little longer. So I've done all the bugs and you know, as you saw, a little bit of technology just came along. According to rumours, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home, ga home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely su successful arcade game Dinky King. Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. I just know I'm going to say the wrong thing eventually. I'm going to say something like Nintendo. I know I just said it now, but I'll say Nintendo instead of Ninvento. You know, it's supposed to be a mock of what happened, so you know, you can't really say the correct thing. The wrong thing. Uh, new topic, brand new combo. Brilliant. Oh yay, level 2 on gameplay. Brilliant. I don't, even, I don't really know what leveling up does. I don't know if it improves your chance to get higher scores or what. I, I don't really know. But never mind. Oh, blime, I'm at 19,000. I could really do with some money right now. The first reviews of our newly released game, Hospital Crash, came in. Uh, seven! Oh, wow! Brilliant! Nine! Their focus on level design served this get. I'm, I'm gobsmacked. Wow! Roll on the <laughs> roll on the sales. One, two, three, four, five, six k. Oh my god, I'm gonna reach 100k, 100k money. Oh my gosh. Hospital Crash has achieved a set of company sales record with over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Blue Planet Productions. Two, Charlie Murray from Patrick and Daniel Clug, Greenheart Games. Hi, Charlie Murray. We are the creators of Game Dev, Ty game Dev Tycoon, and we'd like to thank you very much for, s for purchasing the game and supporting us. Game Dev Tycoon is our very first game, and it means a lot that a lot to us that you are enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our little startup, and this will hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games in the future. Seriously, you rock! Thank you very much for having fun with Game Dev Tycoon. Thank you. I, that was a, that was a nice message. Hi there, I've just finished Hospital Crash and I love your work. I'm in the contracting business and we should use your skills your we could use skills like yours. If you are ever short on cash, just let me know and I will see if I have some work for you, Jason. Uh, contracts have now been unlocked. The uh, the problem I had with contracts is that you would do them but you could never be certain if you were gonna complete them on time. That was the only problem I had. Uh, might as well generate a game report. Um Wow, I'm I'm doing very well. I gained a lot of fans and a lot of sales on that game. Of course, it's nothing to what you'll get in the future. You know, you'll end up gaining millions of sales in the future. 
Uh, our post-release analysis of hospital crashes complete. Uh, hospital simulation is a great combination. Really, graphics seems to be very important for this type of game. Okay, I, w I will remember that next time. I, I, I won't, but oh well. Today, Nintendo has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES in the coming months. The console features cartridge-based games and the uniquely designed controller. Hmm, I wonder what that's a parody of. Hmm, well, then we'll never know. Uh, I'll show you what contract work is. Uh, contracts, yes, 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 I know what they are. Yes, 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 decide carefully what contract to accept. Uh, so I have three weeks to do two design and ten technology. Probably not good enough. Um, probably better off to go with the play test for now, so, you know, that, that'll be easier to do, because you've got five weeks to do it in. Seems like I'm going to do it, no problem at all. And they even gained a research points. Brilliant. Hospital Crash is now off the market. It sold 25,000 units, generating 176,000 in sales. Wow. Well, I'm going to be fine for a little while. And there we are. I have monies. Jason here. I just got word from a client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work. Usually I have new contracts every six months to check back some time. Usually I just go to contracts and I'd be like, Hey, contract work. Yay. That was always contract work. Uh, what should we do now? Let's let's do a bit of research. Uh, we can't. Should we do a custom game engine? Why not? Why not? We got a bit of monies. You have successfully researched custom game engine. Now you can create create your own game engines. To get started, click this message. Close this message. You can click anywhere to bring up the action menu. New research available. Game tutorials. Really? That was that's new. Well, that's new. There wasn't game tutorials last time. See, they, they have added up a few new features as well. Uh, can we do, can we afford to create a game new a new game engine? We could, but I don't really want to do it just yet. Uh, I think we'll wait for that actually. Maybe when I got to uh, three hundred thousand, then we'll see. Uh, what should we do now? Let's do Wild West, and let's do Adventure. Why not? Uh, platform. Uh, should we do the G64? Yeah, let's put one on there. Uh, so what should we call it? Um, blue, cold, obsession. Totally not a reference to any other game. It, it, it's kind of a crap name to be a reference of the game in question, but you know, this part is definitely. Uh, 2D graphics. I am breaking so. <laughs> I'm changing time! Oh my gosh! Uh, engine... Story and quest, probably, definitely. Gameplay, engine... Eh, maybe not so much. It's a blue, cold obsession. Dialogues, definitely. Level design, artificial intelligence, yeah, probably all about the same. Uh, graphics, maybe not. Sound, that can go down a little bit. World design, yeah, why not? Graphics can actually go up a little bit more. There we are. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Wow, I've not got much in technology. I've got eight design, three technology. That's not good. Today, the new game platform TES by Ninvento has been released. Brilliant. Uh, maybe I should wait for it to get up a little bit. Come on, push it up to five. Push it up to five. Thank you, I'll deal with that. That'll do. There we are. New topic, new combo. Oh, leveling up on everything. I still don't know what it does, but oh well. Release the game. New research available in Mono Sound. Ah, I see. The first reviews of a newly released game, Blue Cold Obsession, came in. Oh, don't tell me. No, no, no. Oh. No. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Oh, 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 that's not good. Oh, not bad, not good. Oh. I'm going to lose fans now. I'm going to lose fans. Oh, dear. That wasn't good. Oh, I've lost eight fans. Oh, I better do some contract work then. Actually, we'll generate a game report see where we went wrong. Oh, that's not good. <sighs> uh, Wild West and Adventure. Really? Really? Sound seems to be not very important for this type of game. Are you? Oh. Oh, whatever. Um. Uh, um, let's do a bit of research actually. Might as well. Uh, research. New topic! Should we do military? 
yeah, why not? See where we can get with that. I don't like it when we lose out on fans. <laughs> Makes me feel sad. You have successfully researched a new topic, military. You know, you know what this game should do? This game should do a, this game is so bad it's good kind of scenario. You know, where the game is absolutely crap, but it generates millions in sales because it's, it's a crap game, but it's good to be crap. You know, like a uh, deadly premonition, you know? Uh, military action, clearly. Uh, what platform should we put it on? Let's put it up. Oh, oh, blimey, license costs 80,000. We can't afford that just yet. Uh, let's put it on that one again. What should we call it? Let's call it. Um, shotgunners. Yeah, it makes no sense if it's military because military don't really use shotguns that much. But oh well, let's go with it. Story and quest, not so much if you're. You know, Call of Duty or something. You know, story doesn't really matter if you're Call of Duty. Blue Cold Obsession is now off the market. It sold thigh <laughs> sold five thousand. Oh, I did terrible there. Uh, I deserved every moment of that. Uh, dialogues maybe not so important. Artificial intelligence, yeah. Unless you count the dialogue as you know the lieutenants shouting at you all the time, but I don't really think that counts. Uh, sound probably. Uh, actually, maybe not. Uh, graphics. Oh yeah, yeah, everybody cares about graphics on a shooter for some reason. It's ridiculous. Blimey, nine bugs that generated. Yeesh. If only getting rid of bugs was that simple. If only. New topic, new combo. Thank you very much. We're at least game. Let's see how bad we do this time. I hope we don't do bad. <laughs> Oh dear. Five? Okay, that's 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 fine. Uh seven. Oh thank you. Uh five, six. Do I get a eight this time? No, seven. Okay, they're not too bad. You know, they could be better. One, two, three, four, five, six. And at least some gaining fans. That's 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 the main thing. Generate report, because why not? Let's look at our game history. You know, this is our game history. So far. Oh, can I, oh, wow, I've really made that many games already. Wow. 4.75, 4.5. Hospital Crash did the best. 3, 6.25. Eventually, I will, do a, I will do a sequel of that. Eventually. But I can't do one yet because I need to research sequels. Don't forget creating custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. You can create your custom game engine. Oh, yeah, I should probably do that now. Now that I'm generating a little bit more money. Uh, military and action is a great combination. Board design seems to be not very important. Really? Oh. Well, fine then. Custom engine! Uh, linear story, save game. Wow, that's going to cost me 90k. I can afford it. What should we call it? Let's call it... Sundown. Sundown version 1. Point. Zero. Yeah. The recently released Tez home console by Nintendo has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. As one customer says, I love the games that come with the Tez, and playing with a controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. You are now creating your own custom chain game engine. Once the engine is finished, you will be able to use it when creating new games. The only problem I had with creating new engines is that you couldn't, you couldn't sell the licensing to anybody else. That w that would have been helpful. That would have helped a lot. That would have generated a lot of sales if you could do that. But no, of course they wouldn't let you do that. Nineteen thousand and one hundred thirty-eight thousand on sales. That's that's not bad then. Fine, brilliant, brilliant. Your new engine, game engine, Sundown version one, is now complete, and we shall now use it. Your first custom engine is now ready. Yes, we shall use it. Develop a new game. Uh, let's do another simulation, shall we? Uh, let's do another hospital simulation. Let's say it's a new version of it. Yeah. Uh, game engine, let's use Sundown version 1. And let's call it Dr. Watso. Yeah, why not? I don't give a crap. Blimey, 30 k Oh, wow, that's gonna... Oh, if this game doesn't do well, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. Uh, le no, we don't really need story for that. Save game, yes. Who doesn't want to save game? Story can be, can just go. 
uh, engine can be a little bit less. I might actually change the name actually, I don't like Dr. Watts though. Uh, does dialogues less important? Level design, artificial intelligence, let's bring that down a little bit. Actually, that should have oh, gone up a little bit higher. Hopefully, we'll do alright. Hopefully. Uh, world design, sound is less important, though it is a simulation. World design, less important, probably. Uh, I don't know why graphics is so important for a simulation, but. Eh. And there we are. And by the way, there is there is another, um, you know, location. You do eventually upgrade to different locations, uh, so you won't be stuck in your garage, uh, ga garage, garage for the rest of your life. Let's change the name, shall we? Uh, doctors in no hospital <laughs> later. Oh, well, I have a hospital simulator. Yeah, let's just call it that. Please generate a lot of money. Please generate a lot of money. Ah, oh, still called Dr. Watts, though. Oh, well. Hospital and simulation is a great combination. Brilliant. Nine. Fantastic. Ten. Give me ten. Give me ten. Oh. Nines and eights. Brilliant. Shame it's called Dr. Watts, though, but oh, well. Oh, lots of money here. Lots of money here. Recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market more sp for more specialised games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others create cater for the more mature age groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. New research available target audience, which we shall do so right now because we can. We got the money, might as well. Oh, he's struggling. He's struggling. According to the market research, the recently published game Dr. Watso is a surprise hit with players. The developer Blue Planet Productions is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Thank you very much. You're so kind. Did it do better? Did it do better in review scores? And it did. It did better. Wow, I might have to make a sequel to that eventually. Cuz you can make sequels. Uh, you have successfully researched target audience. Brilliant. Following the massive success of the test console, there are now rumours circulating that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console on their own. Who's Vina? I don't know what they're a parody of. No, obviously, never heard of them. Bad, bad me. Please don't tell me stuff I already know in this report. I'd, I'd rather have. I'd rather be told stuff I don't already know, or nothing at all. Uh, yeah, platform genre match. Okay, that's good. Simulation, uh, platform audience match. Everyone is good, apparently. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that then. Oh, uh, what should we do? Should we research a new topic? Uh, space! Space! Dr. Watso is now off the market. Ah, so sad. I've got 677 fans. Wow. That's interesting. Oh yeah, successfully in research space. So now we will make a space simulation. You can now specify what your main target audience is for your game. Games can be targeted at young people and at everyone or mature audiences. Picking the right target audience for your game is important. Your target platform can also play a role. Some platforms are speci uh, especially popular with a specific audience. Uh, so shall we actually uh, get a license for the test? We got money, we might as well. Uh, actually, we won't go for space then. We will go for um, huh? I'm totally gonna be making a. Actually, is is it a, is it an RPG or is it? A, I don't know. I think it's an RPG. What I'm about to do. Let's go over it. Um, the rumor of. Link. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I wonder what I was referencing there. Oh, <laughs> story, yes. Linear story, yes. Gameplay, engine, no. Yes, there we are. Right, let's try that, shall we? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, this is going to be terrible. Today, Vina has confirmed rumours about a new gaming console and announced the Master V. The company cl uh, uh, claims that the Master V is technically superior to Master successful test by Ninvento and plans to release it in the coming months. Uh, dialogues, you actually get a lot of dialogues in this game. Especially if you're in, especially if it's RPG level design, artificial intelligence maybe less so. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? This is gonna be a bad game. I can already tell. World design, yes. Sound, not so much. Uh, graphics, yes. Let's see how we do. Hopefully, not too shabby. We've obviously broken our record for design and technology, clearly. So that's good. But does that mean it's a good game? We shall find out. New record. New topic. New combo. We can't skip all that because we don't really care about that. Release game! Casual games. Oh, brilliant. First reviews. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, no. 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 Don't be so low. No. I saw a 10 there. Why won't you give me that 10? Uh, five, seven, seven. Uh, yeah, that's that's that that's acceptable. That's acceptable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that I'll, I'll go with that. That'll be fine. Uh, generate game report. What did I do wrong? Our post-release analysis of the rumor of Link is complete, and we got the following results: Dungeon and RPG is a great combination. World design seems to be very important for this type of game. Engine seems to be not important for this type of game. I will remember that. Uh, let's let's research game tutorials because why not? If we don't tell somebody how to play a game, then what's the point? Uh, the Master V, Master V has been released. See, eventually I got so far down the line that I did so well that I did not even need to do any contract work. Eventually I got to that stage. You have just researched your first game, your first engine part. To be able to use this in your games, you need to create a new engine which includes this part. Well, that's annoying. Uh, Massive V has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. Brilliant. New topic, airplane. Yeah, let's make an airplane simulator. <laughs> Everything is a simulator eventually. Everything will be a simulator eventually. Even my job. Yay! Okay, what should we do? Uh, e for everyone for an airplane. Let's make an airplane simulator. Platform. Who, who wants to... I, I, I don't really want to license the Master V. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Thanks for that, though. Sundown. Let, let's call it... Uh... Airborne. Yeah, let's just call it Airborne. Uh, version 2. Let's start making our newest game. Uh, gameplay is usually best. Story, maybe not so much. Engine, yes, please. We don't really need. We don't. Actually, story can might as well just just go. Just no, no story whatsoever. Uh, save game. Oh, I hope we break some records here. That'd be good. Uh, dialogues, less so. Artificial intelligence, yes. Level design, less so. Uh, graphics, sound, world design, less so. Let's go with that. See how we do with that. Break some records. Break some records. Break some records. I'm not leaving till we break a record. Go to 18. Go to 18. Go to 18. Whatever. Otherwise, we'll just we'll just start losing money, and we don't want that. Oh, well, it's still a new record anyway. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip all the leveling up. Release game. With the growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for developers to market their upcoming games. Uh, marketing. So we shall research marketing. Ma ma marketing. We shall research marketing. Because <laughs> we can. Oh, blimey! I shouldn't have done that. That's. Hopefully this game does well. Let's see. Obviously it's not. Not so much. It's a nice experience, apparently. Oh, an eight. Okay. Maybe I was wrong about this. A nine. 
Oh, some like it more than others. That's that's good. Yeah. 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. Yes, 10,000. Recent market data shows that the Go Divorce G64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. In an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Ah, such a shame. He has successfully unlocked marketing. You can access marketing options in the menu, but only whilst our game is development, and we shall show you that right now. So, we're going to. Now make a military. It's based. Uh, let's do a oh, action. Yeah, uh, let's do another one of those. Um, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Um, thing is, military. You know, you got. You got to. When you put a game on a platform, you've got to think about how, how those sort of genres did on that platform back in the day. And I don't think it did very well on the tests. That's why I'm going to go for, that's why I'm going to go for PC, actually. We'll, tr we'll try PC. Uh, let's call it... Um, Gundam. Why not? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> why not? Just Gundam. Uh, engine, story, quest, less so. But we might as well have a bit of a story. A bit. Um, gameplay can be down a little bit. There we are. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. Don't like it when he's stuck. The best ideas come from when you have no idea. True story. Dialogues, yes. Level design, yes. If you have more than one million in cash, you will be able to move up to the next level. This might sound a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you will get to this amount easily. Now a tip, if you ever do buy this game, do not, and I repeat, do not, as soon as you get to a million, go straight to the next level, because, uh, yes, yeah, that happened to me one time, and I pretty much, it was kind of game over for me, so do not do that. Hi, I'm Steve O'Donnell, a reporter from Planet GG. We heard a rumour that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview about this? Yes, please. Great, thank you for your time. We'll publish the interview next week. And then if you want to, you can also go to marketing. Marketing can be very effective to reach more potential customers, but it can be very expensive too. It is best to experiment carefully with marketing to get a feel for what works best. Don't invest too much, and remember that timing is important. Don't invest in your market effects too early in development. It is also important to know that no matter how much money you dump into marketing, it will not make a bad game successful. To the contrary, it can even hurt to market bad games too much as it can upset your existing fans. Well, the problem is you don't know what's going to be a bad game unless you, unt until you make it. You know, that's that's one of the problems. Uh, I have the money, yeah, let's, let's generate a bit of hype. Developing a game, a great game, is not the only recipe for success. It is essential to build hype to ensure that players are excited about your game. In the beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. So there's a bit of hype there, you know. People are starting to pass... Yeah, what's a mouth? Uh, today, Ninvento has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called GameLink. The device ho uh, comes with a changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on the green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. Wow! Oh my god, so next-gen! Wow! Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the game link is underpowered, but given a, a lower, clo lower cost, lower cost and excellent portability and might find a huge following. I've been talking so much today and I'm kind of merging words today. The game link is said to hit shelves in two months. Wow, that's uh, not too far away then. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Blue Planet Productions. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Charlie Murray, owner and CEO of Blue Planet, <laughs> Planet Productions, I love how you call me CEO even though it's just one person, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Yeah, sadly that does happen. Can I can I can I gain record for design? Yeah, brilliant. Airborne is now off the market. It sold 48,000 units, generating 339,000 in sales. Brilliant. Uh, let's finish. 
before it's too late. New record! And I'm leveling up on all of these. Really, aren't I? New research available. Better user experience and level editor. And uh, what we shall do, we shall generate a game report for Airborne. Uh, the first reviews of a newly released game, Gundam, came in. How will it, how's it, uh, don't, are you going to give me a 10? I thought you were going to give me a 10 then. Oh my god. Military and action is a great combination. A 9. Almost, almost perfect. 10. 10. 10. Ah, 10. 10. 10. 10. All 9s. That is wow. It's the best I've done so far. Wow. How are we going to do in sales? Whoa! 50. Oh, whoa. Gundam has achieved a company sales record with over 50k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Blue Planet Productions. Wow. Our post-release analysis of Airborne is complete. Airplane simulation is a great combination. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of map game. Platform genre match simulation on a test is okay. That was, it was a risk, but we went for it. Um, and wow, we've nearly reached a million already. Gundam has achieved a sales company record with over 100k units sold. Brilliant. Congratulations, you have made quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, then, move, uh, then moving into a new office is the next step. I found the perfect office, situated in a technology park. Would you like to move your company to the next level? Not yet. What we will do, we will save the game because I, you need to save the game. Uh, today, the new platform Gameling by Ninvento has been released. The latest, the latest game by Blue Planet Productions has received very positive reviews overall. Star Games gave it a 9, saying military and action is a great combination. If Blue Planet Productions continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favourite. And I've nearly reached 2,000 fans. I could cry! <laughs> uh, let's generate a game report for Gundam and see where I might have gone wrong. You know, to not get that 10. Hopefully it tells me that. It better do. Wow, 1.5 million. Oh, is that how Notch felt? Uh, gameplay seems to be quite important. Graphics seems to be very important. Platform genre match. Action PC is good. Uh, mature PC is great. A topic match audience. Mature military is great. So maybe it shouldn't be on the PC. Maybe not. But we'll see. 200k. Wow. Um, game history. Wow, I can't believe that. Really can't believe that. I'm gobsmacked at that. So early on as well, because you know, throughout my entire career in in this game, in such the early in the early years, I I could not get nines. I really couldn't. I struggled and struggled, and all I was getting was between threes and sixes. That was all I was getting. But now that I know the game. I, I'm, I'm getting better at it. Uh, we might as well create a new game engine right now. Actually, is there anything we can research right now just before we do before we do create a new game engine? Yes, we can. Level design. Cram as much as you can in your um, engine before you make it, because otherwise you're going to be wasting money. Oh, he's struggling. He's struggling. Uh, brilliant. And we shall also research. Better user experience. I should also research. I'm just gonna. I've got all this money to research. I might as well just research it all. You know. Ah, oh, I need research points, don't I? Ah, oh, bugger. Ah, there's always a downside, isn't there? There's always a downside. Uh, however, I can get some research points if I do. Oh, blimey! I've got to do that in three weeks. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do that. Same with that. And oh, yeah. I think I'll just stick with that. Yeah, that's good. That that will do. Play test. As long as it generates some research points, I'm good. Would hire again. Brilliant. Sounds like something you say on eBay. Ah! I need some research points, but like, ah! Should we take the risk and do library software? Yeah, let's take the risk. Let's see if we can do it. Once you do one thing, then you just focus on the main thing. So watch. But we'll just spam this now. We'll just spam technology. Uh, you have made quite a name. Not yet. I will in a sec. Uh, I just want to get all this done. I just want to create my first engine first. My second engine, even. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Oh! Oh! 
Vena, a creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vena Gear, a portable game console to directly compete against the game link from Ninvento. Uh, yeah, I can't be bothered to read it. No, it won't topple the game link. Oh, I just did it as well. Just what we wanted. We will transfer 25k into your account. Not that I need it. Uh, let's only call that 1.5 because usually I only upgrade when I get in the next graphics. Um, but we'll get to that eventually. Uh, create the engine because we have the money. Yeah, let's save. Probably should do that earlier, but never mind. Uh, we don't care about that. And our engine has been created. 100k engine. Invest over 100k in a new engine. Wow. The new game engine Sundown version 1.5 is now complete. Thank you all very much. And now we can research Mono Sound. Not that we really need it right now. I wish I had done it earlier, but oh well. We'll finish up when we're offered to go into the new office. That's when we will finish up. Because I don't. I only want to save it because then I can just preload back. Um, you know, because I don't want to go. I just wanted to go jump straight to the new office just to show you what you can look forward to. So, th there we are. It's right there. Congratulations, you have made quite a name for yourself. So let's move to the new office, and this is what you will expect. And here it is. Welcome to your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. You now may also train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by com completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. To get started, close this message, okay, and then click on yourself, and then train, and then I have to do staff management. So that's that's pretty much what it is, and then you have book studies, which will increase your um, uh, attributes. So that is Game Dev Tycoon. It's a really fun game, but it can be a little bit of a pain sometimes, um, when especially when you don't know what you're doing. Uh, oh, the G4 was taken off the market. Oh, it's such a shame. So anyway... Thank you very much for watching, guys. Links in the description if you want to buy this. And I'll see you next time. And farewell to you.